Now it's time for one of the heavy hitters of the fungi, Candida albicans. This sketch is jam-packed with information, so go through it carefully. Candida is one of the most heavily tested fungi, so you're more than likely to nail at least a few questions from what you're about to see. For our setting, Candida sounds a lot like Canada, and albicans comes from the word alba, which means white. So we're going to make our scene a snowy backdrop in a typical Canadian town. Or at least how we envision a typical Canadian town, eh? My apologies to all Canadians out there if it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Anyway, here's a playground in Canada with a Canadian flag. And now we'll cover it with some snow. And with that, let's start with some general characteristics. Canada causes both cutaneous and systemic fungal infections. In fact, it's the most common cause of opportunistic mycoses. If you have a patient who's neutropenic, has HIV or AIDS, or is diabetic, and all signs point to a fungal infection, you should definitely have candida on the differential. Like the other systemic fungal infections, candida is dimorphic. However, unlike the other systemic fungi, it goes against the adage, mold in the cold, yeast in the heat. Instead, it forms pseudohyphae and budding yeast at 20 degrees, which is cold, and germ tubes, which are hyphae, at 37 degrees Celsius. Once again, we'll remember the fact that candida is dimorphic using our recurring symbol for dimorphic yeast, the dimorphic butterfly. To help you remember the different specific forms of candida at what temperatures they occur, we have two different parts of the sketch. In the back right, we'll draw in a snow cone booth with the business name 37 Flavors. Let's zoom in here so you can see what's next to the 37. Notice we have a degrees sign here, and we've kind of made it look like a snow cone. Now check out the snow cones themselves. Notice they all come with a straw, which together looks like a cell and germ tube formation. So putting this all together, we have 37 flavors. We'll remind you that Canada forms germ tubes, or true hyphae, at 37 degrees. Okay, now further in the foreground on the right, we'll draw in some nice local Canadian shrubbery with a bunch of segmented branches coming out that look like pseudo-hyphae. We have a thermometer next to it showing 20 degrees, and we'll add a stash of snowballs that look like yeast cells. So putting this symbol together, you should remember that at 20 degrees Celsius, or in the cold, candida is in the yeast form with pseudohyphae formation. This is in contrast to the mold that it forms with germ tube formation in the heat, or at 37 degrees Celsius. And that's how you can remember these different forms of candida at different temperatures. Hopefully you'll never forget it. 